everyone, I'm Miss Melanie, a children's librarian with Dakota County Library, and I'm back with tips for you and your baby. Today I'm using Baby Aiden again to help me demo some of these songs and rhymes and other fun things we'll be talking about. First, we are going to demo Open Shut Them. This is a song that has hand movements and particularly opening and shutting their hands. Now babies naturally grasp things, but practicing these movements with control actually gets them ready to eventually hold a pencil years down the road. So this is open, shut them. You can do the hand movements in front of baby. You can do them on their hands, or you can face baby and encourage them to do this with you. This is a great song for older siblings too, or older siblings to interact with younger siblings. I'm gonna demo it by just doing it in front of baby Aiden. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Next, you're gonna be singing creep them, creep them. When you do this, take your fingers and tickle baby. First, we're gonna go up and then we'll tickle baby going down. So, we just finished open, shut them first, then creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Do not let them in. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right down to your toes, toes, toes. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your nose. Great, we're gonna do the whole thing. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Do not let them in. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right down to your toes, toes, toes. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your nose. Yay! Good job, everybody. So that is open, shut them. I am going to place baby Aiden right down here for a moment and talk about these books I have in front of me. Now, both of these are board books, which you might have heard of that term, board books. They're made of like a thick cardboard, and these are two very different types of board books. My first one I have over here is called If I Were a Unicorn. And If I Were a Unicorn has a lot of different textures, starting with a furry tail sticking out. Different types of textures are very interesting for a baby. And it's good for baby to feel opposite things too. Like if you feel the horn, the horn is actually a little scratchy. It's also shiny. Then the ears on the cover are made of felt and they're soft. So each different book has a different texture in it along with just a little description. So this book is published by Jelly Cat Books. And it's called If I Were a Unicorn. This other book I have with me today is I Love You Through and Through by Bernadette Rossetti Schustak. And it's illustrated by Caroline Jane Church. This was published by Scholastic. Um, this is another cardboard book, but the cover is actually a little soft too. It's a soft kind of cardboard. So it's sturdy on the inside and it's a little squishy on the outside. So that kind of texture can sometimes entice baby. It's also a version of a regular picture book that just has paper pages. So this is nice that it's in a cardboard board book form 
because if you have uh, children of varying ages, this is a lot sturdier than a normal picture book and it's a way to engage a range of ages. Now, what I also love about this book is it goes through body parts. So it talks, oh, and it also talks about feelings. So in every page, they're gonna demo what they're talking about. So it's talking about all the different ways that the author loves baby or that you love baby when you're reading it. So you start by talking about maybe their, their top side and bottom side. So those are opposites and you can point to their top and bottom. And then it starts talking about emotions. So it, they love their happy side, their sad side, and there's a clear picture of a child feeling those emotions. So you can talk about that. You can try to imitate the faces, especially if this is an older sibling learning to read. This is simple text and it encourages interaction. So I really love this book. It is called, I Love You Through and Through. Now let's do another song. I'm gonna take out Baby Aiden again. Now, our next song we're gonna demo is another song that's gonna be playful with their hand movements. It's gonna have clapping. It's gonna have tapping their feet. So you can tap their feet together or you can tap them on the ground. And the last verse is gonna be bending baby's knees, bend the knees. All right. And this song um, is a classic song. It goes by lots of different names. Um, I call it uh, clap, tap, bend. Here we go. I take my little hands and go clap, 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 clap. I take my little hands and go clap, 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 clap all day long. I take my little feet and go tap, 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 tap. Take my little feet and go tap, 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 tap all day long. I take my little knees and go bend, 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 bend. I take my little knees and go bend, 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 bend all day long. Yay! Good job. So is I take my little hands and go clap, clap, clap. I take my little feet and go tap, tap, tap. And I take my little knees and go bend, bend, bend. And you can use the melody I sang with it, or you can plug those words into whatever melody. That's most of those rhymes. A lot of those really early uh, baby rhymes, you can use the tune to Itsy Bitsy Spider, to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Row 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 Your Boat. It's fun to take uh, words or phrases and put them with music. So you can really easily make your own song up even. All right, I'm gonna put Baby Aiden down again. And the last part is I want to show a toy, a sensory toy. Now I have these very pretty different colored scarves. If you don't have any scarves at home that look like this, maybe you have a regular scarf or maybe you have a box of tissues and you can easily make that into a sensory toy too because we're playing with texture and how it takes a long time to fall down and not only that, but it's perfect for peekaboo. And for peekaboo, there's so many different ways you can be playful with peekaboo. You could cover baby's face. You could cover your face. You could have baby do some tummy time and cover your face or baby's face. Nap time in your arms. So a variety of different positions and ways of playing peekaboo aided by a scarf. All right. Well, friends, I hope you learned something new during this video and I will be back next week with more tips for you and your baby. Thanks. Bye.